Okay, everybody, here we are at Cyberline Computer Systems Grand Reopening. What do you think, buddy? I can I cannot believe it's um, it just seems like we were just here yesterday, and all of a sudden it's all grown up into a new owner. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know what he said, folks, but here we are. We're on Deep the Geek, and we're going to watch the grand opening of Cyberline, our sponsor on the show, one of our sponsors, and we're going to go in and check it out and see some of the new cool stuff they've got. Let's watch. This is not staged for TV or anything. Here you go. That's right. Boy, girl, boy, girl. You know how it goes. Front row, Neil. You want to be over here for this? Uh, you can't have that. That's uh, product specific. <laughs> All right, here we are. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you, I, uh, I'm really glad they allow me to eat. You We're not going to have audio really, really here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just good. Okay, ribbon cutting for Cyberline 2015. There's plenty of food and everything else in there, folks. Then we're going to find out exactly what they do in Cyberline, and I think we're going to look at Windows 10. You know about Windows 10. Oh, yes. Whatever happened to 8 and 9? Well, 8 turned into 8.1, and 9, we never really heard anything from it. You think, think that's because 9 means no in German? Could be. Maybe you just got lost in the woods. Let's go check Could it out. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're inside Cyberline, the new Cyberline. We had a grand opening, and we're with Sammy and Paul, and of course, you know the geek. <laughs> and uh, we are excited to be here. You've made some physical changes in here. Looks and great. And it does look great. Love and the you, curtains. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the curtains. You pick all the colors out there. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But, it was uh, his wife. His wife. Oh, okay. Uh, there's right, always a woman. <laughs> woman's <laughs> talent you always. Get touch yeah. in there, right? Yeah. I got new floors and everything, but uh, tell us, uh, what you're doing different in Cyberline now? Well, here lately we've been focusing on a lot of the, uh, the customer bases we've been coming in. Uh, people are focusing on upgrades. Uh, a lot of people come in with bad hard drives. We're doing memory upgrades and also custom builds. Uh, the biggest thing out there now is we're servicing Apple and supporting it as well. So you can come in here and get a brand new MacBook Pro, iMac, and also have your iPad screen that's cracked prepared as well. Oh, nice. So Apple. Apple brand. And uh, you didn't have last year, or is that just no, new? No, that, that is new. That's yeah. kind of right. Right. I just started carrying it. You just started yeah. carrying it. Yeah. 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 Oh, Right. Yeah, because there are some people that, that only like Apple. Uh, know? That's true. I, I know those people. <laughs> <laughs> he probably knows every one of them, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's that's kind of new, and I guess that's going over pretty well. Uh, servicing. Do you ever have to service an Apple computer? I'm curious. Every so often, uh, you yeah. get more. Out of every about five or six, you know, machines, you'll get an Apple. Okay. Uh, but you know, not as common. But we're starting to see a lot more of them because people are saying, "Hey, you work on them." That's yeah. the idea. If you yeah. build a concept, right? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Another one. You guys can fix just about anything when Correct. it comes to a computer. Cell phones. Tablets, smartphones, so phone, consoles. I mean, okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. So uh, I understand uh, you've got something brand new. I know you've put it on our website already. I have. I broke the news. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, yes. is, that, is that legal to do that? <laughs> I'm just curious. We haven't done anything wrong, have we? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, Windows 10. Yes. Absolutely. That's right. Yes. It's been released. Yeah. It's ready uh, to go. It's, yeah. Uh, now, if, if you were running Windows 7 or Windows 8, you should have had a small icon down in the tray on your computer that was telling you that the upgrade was coming that you should prepare for it. Um, so once you sign up for that, it's supposed to notify you when you're, it's your turn to download it and install it. So people have been upgrading and downloading and installing it. Um, I'm still waiting for mine to... I'm kind of sad about it. Have you ever thought about seeing a computer geek for that? Just well, curious. You know, that's I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> is, is there, there's a shortcut way to do it. Isn't there a way to like force it to update? I mean, well, uh, what you can do is you can go to your action center and actually physically go in and hit update, and the machine will notify oh, you. Oh, okay. Now, can you show us a little bit go. about the Windows 10 over yeah, here? Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Let's move over here. So this is the the new innovative start menu. So what we have here now is the crammed down version of it. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, Windows 7 and Windows 8. 
So we, you see the little classic start menu, but right. you don't see the tiles anymore. Yeah. Not, so it's taken nobody, up the big nobody screen. Nobody seemed to like yep. that. So yeah. this is the new. I like um, the tiles. This is the new start yeah. menu, and it still gives you the whole native stuff. You can kind of scroll down and see all your apps and everything that's installed without yeah. it gumming up and taking apart your whole screen. Right. The other thing that's gone, thank goodness, is out in the corner. If you're over here moving around, or if you have a touch screen and you move your mouse oh, to yeah. that corner, oh, that little the pop notification pop-up is not there anymore. So that's kind of a nice thing that also comes down. The other thing that comes up is Microsoft Edge. The Edge browser. And the Edge browser is kind of a simplified version so that you can use the best of Java and Flash applications without having to load any plugins or anything and adding attachments to the device. This is brand new browser. Correct. Right. It's set up mainly for a two-in-one or a tablet interface, but uh, you know you can still use it on your desktop and it works just fine. It's focused on speed. Correct. And Optimization with less add-ons. I think this is oh. Microsoft's answer to Google's Chrome browser. Absolutely. Yep. Simplified, yep. just quick speed. Do you like this better than any uh, browsers? So far, I do. Um, I still, I'm a Firefox guy myself. Uh, you know, hey, no, <laughs> Internet Explorer works great, uh, but I like Firefox because of the way that it integrates all of the uh, desktop publishing and for business and productivity. But uh, security-wise, this is the best way. It's 11 patched with the newest updates, and uh, of course, you have your Microsoft start menu here and you can also access all of your main features your OneDrive, uh, your email your photos and also your social media and they also brought it back oh, so you yeah. don't have to re-download it nice. all your games that you lost in Windows 8 and stuff uh -huh. you do have them back my mother will be very happy yep. <laughs> who, has, who has time to play games on computers that's what <laughs> listen to this geek oh, over yeah. here <laughs> he, he's a big gamer folks uh -huh. you know I have trouble with the game of uh, you know just regular solitaire right. so. absolutely the best part about this now too, though, is that we have this new notification center. Now, oh, if you're that. running a tablet or a regular desktop or, or a uh, two-in-one, you'll notice that down here are your hotspots, kind of like you do on your phone. You have your uh, your VPN settings, and that's a new feature with Windows 10, so that you can actually set up VPN and um, actually, within two machines, be able to tag and... What's VPN mean? Virtual stupid. private networking. No, I should have known that. It, it's a security. It allows, it allows yeah. one person that is consenting to have access to that person's files. Right. So okay. that, that, let's say, for instance, you have a work computer and a home computer, and you're like, oh, man, I forgot my files. Well, with VPN, with a Microsoft account, you link everything together, and you can access your files without having to say, hey, you need to turn the computer on. It can wake itself up from the cloud, and everything is linked, as long as you have power. There you go. Um, you also okay. have your uh, notifications. You can turn your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, and uh, control panel settings directly from the actual um, device in the corner. And then, of okay. course, when you go over here, you get your settings. And this is a little, look a little familiar. It's just refreshed, if you will. Um, you can get your user accounts, update and recovery. This is how you would get to your safe mode. Okay. As you yeah. remember it. Uh, privacy, that would be your GPS and how your apps work. Um, and then, of course, everything else here. System optimization, devices, network, wow. personalization. A nicer, cleaner, friendlier control You know, panel. folks, here at yes. Cyberline, you can get anything. Uh -huh. I'll tell you everything. right now. And everything. And, and if it breaks, they'll fix it. And you can get Windows 10. And next year, we'll be doing Windows 14, probably. Thanks. Uh, Thank you guys for being yeah, on Beat the Geeks. Appreciate it. On the, uh, great the grand opening, the yeah. food yeah. was yeah. good. Yeah. And let's Absolutely. go get some more food because hey. I, 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 I like to keep my weight up, you know what I mean? <laughs>